I have honestly just like loved growing up so much. I thought I would hate it because I was like, I just want to be young forever and not ever have to do anything. But honestly, the older I've gotten, the more I'm like, hell yeah. Like I can do this by myself. You got to remember that like, you're, you're fucking Billie Eilish. Like. Do you get what I mean? Because like, the reality of being you is that you're lit in real life. Like. <laughs> I mean, it's not great to do everything you want all the time, but it's cool to be able to, <laughs> you know? So I met Billy at the 2020 Brit Awards. I probably had a couple to drink as well, so I was probably feeling a little bit confident. And it was, oh. <laughs> you are the fucking greatest. You're so hard, it don't even matter. Can't be bothered, you, oh my God, you ain't my father. When did she even actually say the word ornament in that? I absolutely overwhelmed you and overloaded you with no. <laughs> absolute, yeah, it was no, a lot. No, you didn't. It was very cute to me because you ran over and started singing my songs. I'm not just somebody's daughter. Must have been a man. Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to cry. You're too hot. She's too hot. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a beautiful it. moment. Babies. Ooh, I love babies. Babies love me because I think they see me as one of them. And I really do think that. They see me and I'm like, they're like, oh my God, another baby. Oh yeah, they love sucking on these. It's crazy. Complicated. Oh. Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're acting like you're somebody else gets me frustrated. Life's like this. I mean, I do too though, because I have an iron deficiency, so it should taste good. Like, have you, do you guys like the taste of blood? <laughs> Do you? Does anyone here like the taste of blood? Because I like it. I like the taste of blood. I like the taste of like pennies and like metal and like poles and jewelry. Like dirty jewelry tastes so good. It was a very pleasant surprise. <laughs> Thank you. And then you put the picture up of us on your Instagram and I was like, that hard. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, I was like, yes. <laughs> it's like got that like, like, oof. I think my mom gives me iron pills. She's nodding her head over there. My mom definitely gives me iron pills. Cause I used, no, I used to literally suck on pennies and shit. And like, I would lick poles. My dumb ass. My <laughs> Strange. My strange addiction. <laughs> My song. Song is hard. I love that song. I actually really love that song. Song is so fun to do live. <laughs> but don't they make you constipated? <laughs> they don't make me constipated. I don't get constipated. I poop. I poop just fine. <laughs> I love pooping. Go on. Poof. Pooping underrated. One billion percent underrated. Happy. Ooh, happy bye for real. Pooping is my favorite part of the day. There was one day I pooped eight times. It was the best day of my life. And they were all solid, good poops too. Like no like bullshit poops, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't like, I'm done. I wasn't also like, bad? Y'all want me to do my song, huh? Yeah. Um, um, I'm the bad guy. Those are the bad poops. When you poop a me, like, yo, I'm really talking about poop out here. <laughs> I love pooping, dude. But here's the thing, it's really about your diet because you can have miserable poops. People who don't like pooping are probably people who eat like shit. Sometimes when you eat like shit, your poop is incredible. Sometimes it's horrible. Polaroid? Um. Polaroid of you dancing in my room with little cute baby Claro. Polaroid, that's so cute. Oh, what a little baby Claro is. Burning, like a, like a lighter down there. Like, hold it there. Hello, 
<laughs> oh, they're so cute. Overrated! Overrated as hell. Prom? Ew. It's where the most beautiful girls get asked by the worst dudes to prom and they're like, yeah, because they finally found someone that likes them. <laughs> I hate the color blue. It's like my least favorite color. I don't know how I ended up dying it. Blue. And then I, I remember like, I just lived with it for a while and then I was like, I realized that I was somebody with colored hair. That didn't, I didn't clock that. I had blue hair, but I didn't think I was someone with blue hair. I just thought I had blue hair and I was me. <laughs> Why is every pretty girl with a horrible looking man? I don't understand. Listen, I'm not shaming people for their looks, but I am though. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God, because they got a hot girl, they can be horrible. And then I realized like, when people walk by me, they probably were like, oh, she has blue hair. You know, as you do when you see somebody with colored hair. I wanted to change it to like dark gray. I was told that whoever dyed my hair in October used like a permanent blue. So that shit is not coming out. I have sat in that stupid salon chair for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And hours and like you're still ugly though. Can't change that. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's like why like guys with small dicks get like huge mansions to make up for it, you know? Or like, like really nice cars, <laughs> you know? Hours and 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 hours. Trying to get the blue out and that bitch went out. Get the fuck out of there. Invisalign can suck mine. <laughs>